As the host of Changing Rooms, Susie Wilkes helped people improve their lifestyles with stylish home renovations. Now Susie's helping people find love with a new approach to romance. Martin King explains. Now you're calling your Australia's love doctor. I didn't call, I didn't say that. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, of course we're Australia's <laughs> latest love. <laughs> She's the doctor. Us, both, well, you're the nurse. Oh, I'm that's the right. Doctor. <laughs> There's the engagement ring, wedding ring, French eternity ring, and now the are you emotionally available ring. With this ring you have more of a chance. I'm meeting the man of your dreams. Or the woman of your dreams. I think it's a great idea. Would you wear it? Absolutely. How would you describe the current state of the market? Scary. Painful. So, yeah. So what we want to do is make it fun again. If you're single and ready to go steady, Susie Wilkes and Deborah Gray say they are here to help. It's about putting yourself in the position to allow it to happen. You'll know Susie from Chains and Our House. Deborah is a PR gal about town, social observer and self-confessed man magnet. She's trying to teach me. That's my problem. That's why I'm single. I haven't got it right. Anyway, together they've written the book, Emotionally Available. It's all about dating and mating and flirting and emotions and passion and love. It comes with a red rubber ring that signifies your fair game. OK, Marty, I'm going to tell you a little secret. What? I can pick up any man I want. Is that a fact? It is, and I'm going to show you how. Do you want to see? Yes, please. Deb might be the pickup queen, but she puts him down just as fast. I've been married three times. I've done everything wrong. I've made every mistake known to man, and I've written about all my experience. And... Yeah. Susie is 38 and single. I've met the right guy at the wrong time a long time ago, and uh, I'm yet to meet the one now. But but you are available for love. Ah uh, yes. Well, you've got your ring yes. on. Yes. And what's your name? Richard. Oh, nice. So are you single, Richard? At the moment, yes. Excellent. What would you do if a girl had a ring like this on her finger that said she's emotionally available and ready to find a mate? Are you ready to a Fantastic. Because sometimes I'll spend half the night chatting to a guy and he'll tell me that he has to go and pick up his girlfriend. Oh. So he just drops the bomb. Here in the long room, there's no shortage of bare-faced cheek. <laughs> hey, are you going to buy me a drink? Would you like champagne? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, what about you, young lady? Would you wear a ring like this? You know what? I think I've, I've got a ring like this, so I don't need to wear a ring like that. A ring like what? Like that. Like a wedding oh, ring. Oh, you're married. I'm married. But I think it's a great idea, and if I'd had a ring like that, I would have not had to go to Germany to meet my husband. What sort of thing will the ring alleviate? Fear of approaching, I think. It's, it's, it's going to take away that awful moment that is, should I approach, shouldn't I? So what do you fellas think of a ring like this? It's ambitious. <laughs> is it? Why? <laughs> well, it's certainly putting yourself out there, isn't it? Yeah. Would you do it? I quite personally wouldn't. Do you need help? Not really, but Would... I... Well, I need help as far as knowing who's available, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't need a leg up. I've got a leg over. <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Blackman from Hey Hey It's Not On Anymore. With the book comes the launch. I met my wife at the door and she was only wearing a jeans. Unfortunately, she just arrived home. <laughs> Falling in love. That's what it's all about. That's what sort of drives the world. It's, it's all about, about everyone people. caring about each other's feelings, loving each other and being friendly, being open, being receptive and being flirtatious. <laughs> Nice. Good luck, girls. And there's more information on that story at a 9MSN website. When we come back, the return of the Aussie Rissol. What do you call these things?